Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Charlotte and I am a third grade teacher in Arizona. I am so excited to be bringing you my classroom room tour for the school year 2019-2020. This year I'm teaching third grade and I'm in the same classroom that I was in last year here at my school. Um, I'm really excited to be showing you guys my room today and I wanted to give you just a couple things. So I am sick, obviously. My throat is like killing me, but I'm still going to do it because I'm just that excited. Also, today it is 3.05. The kids just left and I have to say, and I know you guys are watching because my students are watching my channel now. Um, I've never seen third graders clean faster than when I tell them, your classroom's gonna be on YouTube. Do you wanna be proud of what it looks like? Five minutes later, it's sparkling. So anyways, I'm gonna start just by going through the walls, the perimeter of the room, show you everything. Um, if I don't tell you where something is from, it's probably from Teachers Pay Teachers, in which case, go ahead and try to search um, through keywords just because there's so many things it would take me years to link everything so I will try my best to let you guys know where things are this will probably be a long video so grab yourself a coffee grab yourself a beverage or eat your dinner sit back relax and enjoy the tour so I have three backpack buckets here I did have four but I only have 21 students so I have seven backpacks in each bin it's very lovely these are from Target and I just created the little labels with my Cricut and some vinyl. Right here we have our information station. So this is our calendar which we rarely refer to. It's mostly here just for kiddos to see the date. Um, we also have our lunch menu there in our breakfast menu. And then we have our PE schedule so depending on where we go each week will be written there and we have to look for it. We also have our emergency procedures there next to the door in case there were to be an emergency. This is our door, it's made of metal so I'm lucky enough to have some magnets on it. We have some little magnets here, these are all my students names and numbers and they move their magnet depending on where they're going on campus or if they're not here I put them over there. I have had this poster since I started teaching and I've always used it as a line check. A 4S line is silent, straight, still, and smiling. And as they're walking in line, I just ask them, is your line silent, is it straight, is it still? And then I always tell them, add a smile. I hang this little bucket here for tardy sticks. As the kids come in, they place their tardy stick from the office in this bucket. And then on Fridays, we put our um, quarters in there. Um, for quarter day. And then right here I have my office passes hanging. These are from PVC invites. I mentioned them in my classroom haul video so if you're interested in a link to those there is a link in that video. Um, and then here is just another place to I usually put there's some grabber store tickets that they uh, get and I put them here to remind me to take them up to the office. I have a spray bottle here because I like to squirt their faces and their necks when they come in from recess. Um, it is 115 degrees out in Phoenix in this time of the year, so I keep that there. And then um, a bottle of hand sanitizer lives here as well. We squirt sanitizer. We call it hanitizer in third grade. If you teach third grade, you know what I mean. Um, hanitizer. Then I just have my outdoor marquee key, my marquee key, here by the door so that my teammates can come and get it if they need it. And uh, that is a screwdriver. Yes, it is. Moving right along, this is my teacher's assistant's small group station. So I do have a teaching, um, an instructional aide that comes in twice a day, 30 minutes during reading intervention and 30 minutes during math intervention. So I just set up this cute little space for her. Her name is Miss Jane and I just adore her. On this cart, I have all the things she would need for her small group um, instruction. So I have some math games and centers that are pre-cut and created for her. And then, of course, all of the um, recording sheets and answer keys for her. And then I also keep her lesson plans in here so she can just walk in and have her plans written down, ready to go, so she doesn't have to ask me what to do. She normally does the same thing every week, so 
there's usually not a question. Um, there's also markers and crayons, a whiteboard marker and eraser here for her as well. I don't have a, an eraser or a whiteboard here for her yet, but I will. Um, I also have some extra dry erase sheets, so she could totally use that. And then these are just some number lines that we were using last week to help our kiddos out. Down here I have all of the progress monitoring booklets for our students. We use the Dibbles Next program. Um, so these are all of their Dibbles booklets. Then here is another box full of centers that actually Mandy created and made and then she's not going to use them so she gave them to me so I'm just keeping them here. And then these are some dry erase stickers that I was planning to use but I'm not sure I'm going to use them yet. And then down here is just the days. Um, this is called, this is just the days program. Um, it's called maze now, but it's basically like their vocabulary acquisition. And so I keep all this here because this is the thing. This is what Miss Jane works with. So I made her a little cart. I would love to put her name there. I think that'd be so cute. And Miss Jane loves plants. So I brought Sheila from home. She lives here in the window to keep our air clean. And I'm thinking I might grab a couple more indoor plants and just add them to this space because it's just so nice. So I took down the blinds. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that there were blinds here. I actually took them down and I'm storing them in my closet, but I hung some curtains and they are actually blackout from the outside in. From the inside out, we can see out, but from outside in, they cannot see inside. So if we do have a lockdown, we just close those blinds and it provides a nice little ambiance for the room. And here comes Marina. Uh, so this is a small group space. There's usually only four kids here at a time uh, Tops five which that's easy to fit there um, and then you pan this way and these are our cubbies um, This one's flipped around, but that's okay. Uh, so all the kids keep their stuff in here throughout the day um, And I showed you guys what's in there uh, Here I just keep extra textbooks and then just like extra things that don't really have a home like this is all craft stuff and like dictionaries and I don't even know what's in here just like random labels um, these are all my lit studies over here so I have just like all of the lit study books are all in there for when I'm ready to use them more extra junk that I don't use <laughs> Up here, I usually keep a tissue box, and then this is a lost and found bucket. So if I find like supplies or anything on the floor um, that I don't have a number on, I'll just put it in this bucket. So a couple whiteboards, some pencils. Um, I just put it here in the green box, and then the kiddos can go and grab if they say, oh, I don't have a whiteboard. Well, go check the lost and found. These are my group caddies. These live up here until I tell them to go get them. They're pretty good at keeping them organized. I did not have to say anything to them today at all. So pretty proud of that. Pretty nice. Over here is our AVID wall. So we are in AVID Elementary School. If you're not sure what AVID means, it is Advancement Via Individual Development. And oh, Determination, not Development. Hello, that was silly. De determination. Um, and so these are just some things I found on TPT. Um, they just have like some of the strategies we do. So like the wicker um, stuff and then some of the other acronyms that we use here at school. Uh, we use this one a lot, slant. And then all of these other beautiful posters. These were on the tables, but the kids were complaining that they were in the way, so we've been stacking them here. And then if I feel like a kid's not following the rules and I have to keep complaining, I just put this on their desk. And then that's like a little silent reminder to get following the rules. Uh, this direction we have class jobs and birthdays. It's 3.15. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to leave at 3.30. I'm gonna speed through this. And then we have my sink space. So I do have my coffee pot here with this cute little sign that I got from Mandy. And then these are from Teaching and So Forth. I know that uh, the frames are from Ikea. She has a whole thing on her file if you buy these. That explains how to frame them. Uh, pencil sharpener there. And then I plugged this in, it actually fell off of the um, tacks that I put for it, but it's staying nice and straight. Um, because I do have a hair 
a hair dryer and a curling iron that I use to get ready at school in the morning, and I plug them into that. Down in these cabinets, I have some random stuff. In the top, I have construction paper. Down here is all my indoor recess things or like games. So I have like Twister back there. I have Jenga, some dominoes, and then lots of playing cards. These are extra bins that I'm not using and those back there are extra bins that I'm not using. This is loose construction paper that hasn't been unwrapped yet or has been unwrapped. So I keep that kind of separate. And then up in here, I just have more paper. Um, this is all like my colored paper that I use. Uh, a lot of it is, this isn't the cardstock paper. This is just colored paper for like important things I want on colored paper. I have some more crayons, some tissues. Some, some stuff in here is just like crammed in because I needed to find a spot for it. I have these cute little books that I'm going to use this year for animal, animal reports. I haven't used them in like three years, so I think I'm going to use them this year. And then up here I have just all of my personal stuff. Um, so I just have like dishes for lunches because I bring my lunches and then I put them in dishes um, to heat them up. I have like coffee mugs, straws, um, coffee itself, my little kettle for tea. This is for Sheila the plant. I haven't brought that out yet, but we should start spraying her. And then like I said, I just kind of crammed some stuff at the top because I had space. Um, this is our sink space. I do my dishes here. It actually becomes a job later in the year <laughs> um, for an early finisher. Okay, go do the dishes. Um, so if I do have any dishes, they will go in here and they will get washed. And then I hung this mirror you guys saw in my um, haul. It gets really dirty really fast, but it's fine because I do catch the kids looking in it, so it serves a purpose. Then if we go this way, we have my class rules, which these are the whole brain teaching rules for the most part. I did like change a couple of them, like be an example. I don't think that's one of them, but it's one of mine. And then this is the great multiplication challenge. This is on teachers pay teachers. Um, I think that's what it's called on the file too. It's a multiplication challenge, a great multiplication challenge. Up here, I just have some extra storage. Um, that one's actually empty, which is really cool. This one is like extra decor. This one is tissues and sanitizer. This one is paper. That one's empty. That one's science stuff. That one's more decor. That one is notebooks, folders, extra avid stuff. And then that one over there is more notebooks. Then in these cupboards, I just have more junk crammed. This is all the old curriculum that we are not, um, mandated to use anymore for reading. Um, so once they buy a new curriculum, we can get rid of those. These are like the old, old school, hardcore trophies books. Um, and then I do have some like cushions in here. And just like I said, there's a lot of like random cramming, but uh, I have some extra binders, some chalk paint, just like random things. This is like my random cupboard. <laughs> it's my Monica closet. This closet is my get ready closet. <laughs> It's also the tallest closet I have, so I store my blinds in there, um, a roll of paper, and then these drawers, I use them in the morning to get ready. So I have my curling iron up here. I hang it here because I don't have to wait for it to cool down before putting it in. I have some makeup in this little basket. I use this, I put it on my lap to do my makeup so I don't get anything on my pants. Um, here's some more makeup. I have some lashes in here if I want to get crazy. Some perfume and then a toothbrush kit in case I forget to brush it home. Then here is all my hair stuff. So I have my own hairspray, dry shampoo, a brush, a comb, some salt spray, and some hair ties if I decide to throw my hair up. And then my hair dryer and yeah. Then this is all my nurse stuff. So like all my first aid kit stuff. Um, little tooth guys are in here. Um, cool down things. And then down here is more stuff for students or for me. So, you know, feminine products and um, more hand sanitizer and then some deodorant for when they get closer to fourth grade. <laughs> and moving on, I have these drawers. This just holds like all old anchor charts and just like paper stuff that is just too big to go in like a drawer. 
or you know whatever so like borders and stuff live in there um, same for these ones I think there's extra whiteboards in here and then my kickball set is in there this cupboard has become extra junk but it was mainly first math manipulatives as you can see there's a lot of math stuff in there um, a lot of manipulatives up in the top these ones are all mine and then these big green ones back here these are the schools so um, and then a lot of that stuff back there is mine too I have extra book bins yeah okay this little space is fun this is a little flexible seating option so I've got my two Ikea tables and then these are from Ikea as well they're just Ottomans and they are extra storage which is great and then this is gonna be our everyday strategy board once I um, I have to put my race strategy up there, but basically this is stuff that they're going to want to use every day. So like cubes is problem solving. I'll probably split it in half and do like math and then reading. So I'll do like context clues and then um, referring to the text evidence, like how like sentence starters and things that they can use all the time. Um, down here, these are my teaching and so forth third grade math posters for I use them when I'm teaching and then I show them where they are. So if they ever need help. They can grab one. And then I'll show you another thing I have with these that I saw on Instagram, which I'm sure everybody saw. Um, but I'll show you in a second. Then up here, these are the five C's. These came from my old school where Jennifer teaches. They're a five C school. Um, not four C's, five. They added community connections. But I still use these a lot in my teaching. So I refer to them quite often. And we talk about the importance of each one and why we should be using them. So that's kind of this space right now. This is like holding math vocabulary, which it probably won't stay there since I have that space back there for that. But I kind of like the color going on here. So we don't leave it. I use this for multiplication fluency center. Um, inside each one of these is a math facts uh, center. So this one is like word problems. This one is division. This one is multiplication. You guys catch my drift. I do have one more of these uh, cases, but I don't feel that I need it right now. So this eventually will become a fluency center that the kids can work on when they are doing math intervention. This little guy, I've had tons of questions already. This came from Ikea. And then the labels, I actually made, um, I got a template for free labels for the Target dollar spot um, square adhesive pockets, and then I just printed these labels. So obviously each one is labeled. These are, <clears throat> this is specifically for student supplies. So if they lose their dry erase marker, I they already should be over here getting one out of the box. I should not ever have to hear, oh, I don't have, oh, I don't have. Like, no, you need to come up here and get it before you don't have. So they're, they are able to help themselves into these. There's nothing in here I don't want them touching. So if they're missing something, they help themselves. Then on top here, we just have a couple tools. Um, this little calendar is super cute. Um, it needs to be... My calendar person set it for Monday's date, so. Um, I also have my Pop Solo microphone here. We use this for class discussions. Um, if you guys have been to Get Your Teach On, then you know what Clap Clap Ooh Track Him is. Uh, we use this for the speaker. So when somebody wants to answer a question or share an idea, they have to stand up and use the microphone to speak. And that's really encouraging to get them to talk. Um, there's a voice level thing here, which I don't really use, um, it, but it's cute, so. <laughs> and then just some other things that are like, like these are bookmarks from the Target Dollar Spot, and then this is like, if a sub were to come in emergency, they could see this and use it. And then this is a Smart Spots book for when I do move to flexible seating, because right now they are not flexible. And then we have my Smart Board, which doesn't really work as a Smart Board but that's okay. Um, I keep the word because up here, um, Jennifer from Genuine Teaching actually inspired me to do this. Um, she taught me that. She makes her kids say a because when they want to explain something or answer a question, they have to have a because to follow it. So uh, it also helps them with spelling it because when they answer in their um, 
for any question they have to explain, they have to use because. So it's there to help with uh, spelling as well. And then time to be kind. That's been there for, that's, this is the second year. So this is my whiteboard. And then down below is another student station. So we have a pencil sharpener. These are their glue sponges. I uh, usually have a kiddo pass them out. These are magnets that go on the big whiteboard. And then this is our writing prompt station. This is a reading ELA intervention station. And then nothing in there yet. So on the board, we have some bitmojis, <laughs> two different ones. This is me with long hair. This is me after the haircut. So I have my voice, my noise level cards here. And I usually have a student change them um, or I change them. I just kind of pull it up and plop it up on the board so that they're reminded their noise level expectations. She is my little comment lady, so I put her up here. And then if I have like a special announcement, like someone's birthday, I just put like happy birthday and it's coming from her. And then I have my whole brain scoreboard. Are you leaving? Bye. bye, bye. I have four minutes to finish. Okay, bye. <laughs> um, then I have my today is up there and then I just fill in the date every day. Um, we've got some uh, we do, um, because of AVID, we do some two-column notes for each objective. So they write the objective at the top of the page, the date, and then they split their page into two. Um, and then we do, like, vocab that way, so vocab, word, definition. Um, bye, you two. Um, and then just markers and such. This is a really helpful little tool for anchor chart display. Oh, and it just broke. Lovely. Um, it does go back together, but that is helpful for hanging uh, anchor charts on the board. And then over here, I just have my on-air sign. So if I'm filming, I put this up on the board. And then behind it, I have my inside out um, characters. So whatever zone I am in, we talk about zones of regulation. I'll show you what that is in a second. Um, whatever zone I'm in, I'll put that on the board so the kids know like, oh, she's aware of her zone, like, and how her emotions are working, so we should be aware of ours. Okay, sorry guys, I had a coworker walk in, and we had a nice little chat. Um, so this is where my objectives go every week and every day, they change. Um, so that's kind of self-explanatory. Um, the tape on here is really cute, it's just like cursive. Um, this is a science kit that um, is a plant's uh, unit so that will be being used in a couple weeks these are what I was planning to use those third grade math posters on so I actually had them all printed and laminated and I'm going to cut them out and put them each on here and then they'll go on each table team for extra support for math and then the stool was a gift from my sister um, this is the beginning of the dark side. We call it the dark side in here because this is where Darth Valdez sits. I don't actually even sit over here ever during the day, so, but it is the area that they are not allowed to go in. Um, but this is my daily schedule, so I just made these on, um, Google Slides or PowerPoint. Um, Shelly from Early Adventures has a great how-to if you guys are interested in, um, making some. But then I just have the times of everything. Um, so I'll probably talk about the schedule in another video. But above here is my little dojo store. Prizes actually moved them. They weren't there originally, but it's okay. Um, it's, they just have little prizes they can buy with their dojo points. And then down here is just a place where I kind of plop like papers that I need to put away. Um, this box right here is community builders. And then this here is math centers. And then this is my small group supply caddy. So Miss Jane has one and I have one. And we pretty much have the same things in them. I haven't pulled a small group yet just because it's still the third week of school. Um, but when I do, I will have like all their pencils and highlighters and things that they need in that. Um, these plants are from Ikea. This is from Target Dollar Spot forever ago. It's just there. Um, I have a wax warmer. And then my favorite scent is the... Um, berry cheesecake and it smells divine and then my candy jar um is from tj maxx or home goods um right here i have nurse cards so when kids go to the nurse i have to send them with one of these happy grams these are basically for like positive notes home or like if i'm going to give a kid a free reward i write it down on one of these and they get those 
And then this is my storage space. So this has all of my, these are like uh, content books, so like curriculum that I could use if I wanted to. My sub tub is there. Anytime I don't get to an activity or like I made too much stuff, I put it on top of my sub tub and then eventually I'll put all of it inside the sub tub so that they can actually just use that. And then my weekly drawers, I do use them so everything in here for next week is all set. Um, on top is just some more stuff that I have that's extra that I could pull and use. Um, up here is high frequency words, so that's where I get my spelling words from. Um, <coughs> just a couple random folders here, um, things that I need. One of them has like all my old little notes from kids in it. Um, I've got my easy grader up there. Um, Sparky's here. These are all my sheet protectors. I keep them all in this basket um, just so they're easy access. And then I have my teacher toolbox. These were all gifts from students. These little cuties. Oh, this is Princess Leia. Um, these are my teacher's editions. This is my data folder. So I always like for dibbles and stars and any kind of data, I always keep it in here. So it's one-stop shop. I've got my standards. And then this is my professional binder, so I keep like all my evaluation stuff in there, class photos from the past, um, any PD hour certificates, they all go in there. And then this is like master copies of things, like behavior charts or um, certain things that I want to have like access to all the time, they're in there. And then this is just some other things that I need, so like IEPs, um, weekly masters, testing IDs, um, student information cards, and then field trip, old field trip forms from, because you have to keep them for, I think, up to two years. And then my copy bin, I always get questions on this. This is from Walmart, but they have them at Michael's um, for our, on sale. And then this came from Target. It doesn't really have a purpose, so it's just hiding under here. Um, this is from TJ Maxx, I think, Home Goods. Back here, I keep an anchor chart um, palette thingy. So when I make an anchor chart, I hide it back there so it's out of the way. This is my board. This is that um, faux wood. but This is the dry erase. It's the better than paper um, stuff. I combined my college wall with my actual wall. So all of these are like my medals from Arizona State University. And then I have like my pennants and stuff and my um, honors cords and everything, and my diploma, and my grandma, and my auntie. They're both graduates of ASU Teachers College, so that's a special picture. And then my Darth Valdez stuff, my Instagram. I do want to put some pictures of the kids up here this year. I think it would be cute. Um, and then my desk space is a little bit, this is like the messiest part of the room right now. Um, so my water, water bottle, which they have a ton of these at Home Goods right now. Um, like the whole, they had a whole wall full of them. <laughs> um, and then I just made the labels. Well, this is just my desk space. So I have my reflection journal. So my principal will come and write in here. Um, other things that I need to keep safe. So like student council dates, um, this tape I use for like everything. So I keep it out. And then this is all just like my tools. So like scissors, pens. I have some flares in here. I have some ink joy gel pens in here. These are like other pens, so these are like real black pens and pencils. And then down here I just keep some like random things. These are our grabbers, it's our PBS ticket, PBIS tickets. I get chapstick. These were gifts from students for my birthday. This one's really cool. Um, some earrings and then some sticky notes. And then I have my planner here. I always keep it right here. And it's usually open, but I don't need it to be open. Then my planner stickers are there. And then, um, this is cool. This was a gift from Mandy. It's a memory game. So it's a Simon memory game. Um, so that would be fun for like, you know, an incentive. And then my Lee. This was a gift from Casey Morris, Teaching on Less. Um, this eucalyptus plant is from Ikea. I keep my book orders right here. So as the kids bring in their orders, I just keep them in a bag. And then once I put the order in, so I just keep all the money safe and sound. And then my little bitmoji with our Scholastic book stuff. <clears throat> and then down here, you guys have seen this 
This is all of my other teacher storage. Um, I just printed, I just made these and stuck them in those little Target dollar spot things. And it's been working out great. I know where everything is. Um, I keep my, uh, whatever that is in here. This is from Get Your Teach On. My um, computer, my fan for when I'm in here and it's hot. And then I have some other stuff that I need to, like this I need to grade and that stuff for like some of it's recycling and stuff for next week. And then I had the kids charting some data. So those are data folders and crayons for that. Um, getting ready to leave in a minute. <laughs> need to check my phone and see. Okay, moving on. So this space, you guys, my desk area also doubles for my small group space. So I have five Ikea stools here that stay here. And when I do finally pull a small group of kids back, I can have five kids sitting right here around my desk area and I can do small group right from there. Um, all my small groups are made up of four kiddos, so that's going to be perfect. There's enough room for one, two, three, four. Um, so I don't have to have an extra small group space in addition to my desk. It is multifunctional. And the great part of it too is if I want more space, I can totally move these tables and utilize this whole space. Um, so it's very multifunctional. These tables are from Ikea as well. And then this is my class library, the pride and joy of my room. Um, this is my favorite and definitely my students' favorite spot. This is our work wall. I do have work to put up there. I just have not put it up yet. Uh, the stool here, I get a lot of questions on this every year. This stool came from my mother-in-law. It was brown. I spray painted it black and I put this fabric over the cushion. So this is totally like handmade. Um, this is my library. A lot of the books were purchased by me. And the students have been really, really good about keeping it nice. Like, I did not clean this up at all. Like, this is all them. They figured out that a whole set of Diary of a Wimpy Kid belongs in there and a whole set belongs in there. So I'm very proud. Um, I put, like, my favorite little books in here. Every week I change it out. And then um, these baskets, I don't really know what they're for. Um, they don't have a purpose, but I guess if I get more books, I can put them in there. Um, this one down here is full of books. Um, and then this is our grabber store stuff. Um, so I just have some cute little knickknacks here. These lamps, all my lamps are from the Goodwill, you guys. I don't buy them uh, from store. I buy them from the Goodwill. Um, these chairs are from a classroom hall. And I just put lap desks down underneath them. Because when the kids sit here, if they buy flexible seating, because they can buy it right now for like 10 points, um, they can use the lap desk or they can sit on the floor. There can only be two people in this library at once. I might up it to three or four. One, two, three, four. Um, and then here is my other little book display. These are all of our cute favorite little picture books. And then Ollie the Otter is part of my class meeting. He's our talking stick. Um, and so he stays right here because he needs to be there for class meeting. So I have all of these books and then you guys, all my picture books are down in here. That one needs to get put back. I think I was messing with that one earlier. Um, but all of my donors choose books are down over here that we got. I did put some over here. So like they're kind of organized. Um, one is like, you know, fiction, uh, the other one is like holidays and then we have like all the fun like motivational books. I keep some flexible seating cushions here because the kids can purchase the, uh, a cushion to sit on for uh, from the dojo store. I think it's like five points. They can give me five grabbers or use five points and they can sit on a cushion for the day. So I have one here and then I have another one over here with the blue cushions in it. And then here's some more books. This, I don't really know what I'm doing with right now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. I'm not really, I don't have any plans for it, so I'm just leaving it alone. But I had to put this one here because of the plug back there. So it's fine. I'm not worried about it. More books. So you have the bad seed and the good egg here. Uh, these are all of my new donors choose books as well. Um, so I told the kids I'd put the new books here so that they can look at those. And then just some more cute, cute things. 
This is my calm down corner, which happens to be a really hot commodity right now. Um, so this little wall is my behavior wall. So I have our um, cougar matrix there, behavior cougar matrix, just reminding kids what they should be doing and where. <clears throat> and then we are all about um, social emotional learning here. And we talk a lot about the zones of regulation. So this is our cool down corner. If a student feels that they are moving from the green zone to another zone, then they come back here and there is a plethora of things that they can do to get themselves back to green. Um, I have calming strategies here. They can flip through. Um, and then there's also coping strategies here. This is a little warm fuzzy. I always set, tell them you have five minutes to go and regulate yourself. And then it just has each zone explained what it looks like, sounds like, and feels like. And then inside the desk, there's a few things in here. There's, I wanna get more, just I'm waiting for like payday, you know what I mean? Um, so I have a fidget spinner, there's some coloring books, there's a wooden puzzle, um, there's crayons and markers. This is a, um, this is for discipline. So this can be either discipline or calming. Um, so they can come back here and do whatever they need to do. That's like a reflection sheet that they do. And then on my door, <clears throat> here's Mandy's room. On my door, I have um, size of the problem. So if they do come back here, I'm going to come back and ask them, okay, what size problem did you have? Um, if you have a one or a two, you probably don't need to come back here. Um, but when you're back here, I want you to pick which problem you have. And then this is just a what can I do when I'm done thing. Um, my computer cart will go here once it is here. Um, we're getting a brand new computer cart for our grade level and I am the recipient. So um, it will go right here once it's arrived. And then I just have technology rules. These are giant whiteboards. I got them from Home Depot. Then coming this way, we have more of my junk. This is all like crayons, colored pencils. These are curriculum or files that are too big to go in my binders that I just don't want to hole punch all of that paper. So I put it there. And then I have things like anchor charts already printed out, um, quick checks, exit tickets, like everything I need for reading intervention, math intervention, exit tickets, things like that. It's all right here. Um, with my hole puncher and I need to make some binder labels. I forgot to show you guys my headphone storage So I went and bought everybody some um, Earbuds and I numbered them and this is where we keep them And once the cart comes, I'll probably just hang this on the cart <laughs> um, And I do all of my So I've been actually doing some math intervention here because I have the mini whiteboard I just pull all the kids that are struggling back here. They put up their whiteboard and then I do a little bit of like reteaching back here. So I kind of really love this space. Um, basic stuff, printer, cutting thing, um, anchor chart zone goes here. I would like to do um, vocabulary on either side too. Um, but And then I have my fridge, my recycling bag. And then these are student mailboxes. And in each student mailbox is a green folder. That is their data folder. It lives in their mailbox. That way it doesn't get junked up in their book bin. Um, and then we're back where we started. So everything that's in here is basically just like extra supplies. I know that I have some STEM materials in here and like rulers and just like random, like there's all my letter board stuff. And then this one I know is just printer paper and extra comp notebooks and then privacy folders. And then this is all my teacher supplies. So like things I don't want the kids getting into, they're not invited into this cabinet. Um, but it's just like random, you know, like more pencils and my laminator and glue and folders and, you know, big, big, big people scissors, extra tape, things that I don't want them having access to all the time. So that's in there. And then I will talk about the middle of the room really quickly and then we will be done. So I have six groups. Um, and guys, I love doing flexible seating with like alternative seating options, but my students really just prefer having a chair and a tabletop. So um, survey says we're keeping tables and chairs and they really like it. And 
eventually I will let them choose where they sit and who they sit by. Um, but for now, they're really loving this. They like having their own space that they can call theirs. And I do allow them to move around. Like if they're doing silent reading, they can pick a spot in the room to sit. But for the most part, they really just like having their own space. So I have two kiddos here. I have four here, three here, four here, four here, and four over here. And this is my little friend. He was, um, he might be watching this. If you are watching this, hi. Um, he was tipping back in his chair a lot and like scooting way back here and just needed a little bit more space. So I said, hey, do you want to go try the wobble chair? Because this stool was over in the calming corner. And I said, well, do you want to try the wobble stool? Because I noticed you like to rock in your chair a lot. And he's like, yeah. So today he told me, he's like, I really like the stool. It's working for me. So we're going to keep that there for him. And then this is the last thing I need to show you guys. This is my teaching station. So this cart obviously can be moved to and fro. Um, and on this cart is pretty much everything that I need for teaching. So I have my book bin that has everything in it that their book bin should have in it. And so I use this to model like everything, like pull out your binder, so I pull mine out. Pull out your agenda, so I pull mine out. My book boxes in, or my math books in here. And then I just have like my teacher edition and just like my whiteboard tissue box. Um, these I like to use for teaching because they're erasable. And when I write in pencil up on the board, they sometimes complain that they can't see it. So I use these because they're erasable and they just show up a little better. I have markers, crayons. Um, these are cute little partner cards that you can um, use. Those are TPT. I have some sticky notes, more grabbers. This is just more supplies for me, so like highlighters, um, permanent marker, cards if I want to do a grouping structure. Uh, these are same thing, more cards, grouping things. And then in here, so I have one lightsaber here, and I have another one on the other side. But I have dice for math games. I have stamps in here because I like to use stamps for like checking for understanding. I was like, okay, if you're if I stamp you, it means that you did a good job and you can move on. Um, and then more dice, and then I have a keyboard for if I want to walk around and leave my computer where it's at. This is a box of pens for grading stuff. These are my extra class captain things. We were playing place value games with these. So I have some extras in here. And then I have some brain break stuff. So I have some clickers cards. If you don't know what clickers are, Google that. And then these are just like a quick brain break dice. And then headphones for any kiddos that need to block out sound. Then I keep my students' um, login information, so I have their accounts here, um, so like their emails and things like that, so that if they forget or they lose something, they can get it, and then their Prodigy logins. Um, just like I said, if they don't have it in front of them or something and I need to look, I have it there. And then I sit on another one of these Ottomans, and it has tissues in it. Um, this is my teaching station. I keep my old iPad that's so cracked in here, um, right here, and I keep Dojo up on it, so if I don't have my computer, I can send a kid over here to take or get a point, so I'll just turn that off. And then my projector is sadly not mounted, which drives me absolutely crazy. This is my cute little timer. We love this timer. Um, it changes color depending on the time you want, and so I'll say, okay, if it's, once it turns off, we'll do our, so I'll like for um, guided practice, I'll do two minutes, so they have two minutes to solve, and then when the timer goes off, I do a chin check. So they check, they show me their answer, and then we check. And this cute little fan's from Target. I have my dot camera. Um, I love my remote. I never lose it because I keep it right here. And then, yeah, so that's my teaching station. I like that it's low because the kids can see over me. Um, these guys are fine, like they just look right past me but everyone else can pretty much see over me. So that's fantastic. And I could even sit on the floor if I wanted to. So yeah, guys, that is my classroom this year. I am loving it. I'm very happy. I feel at home. Um, and I just, I love it. I don't want it to change. <laughs> um, so yeah. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. My voice is now toast.
<laughs> so I'm going to get out of here. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. And if any of my sweet little students are watching, I love you guys so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you on Monday, and I will see all of you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.